North Dakota's sage-grouse population has struggled for years. About a decade ago, a West Nile virus outbreak reduced the population by about 70 percent, and the North Dakota Game and Fish Department is trying to do everything it can to keep these large upland birds from disappearing from the state. But now the population has decreased to the level where we're not getting any natural reproduction. So the whole idea is to come in, uh, bring some birds in, from another state and hopefully they will start uh, reproducing and that population will start coming back. In early April, Robinson and his crew went to central Wyoming where sage grouse numbers are stable and trapped 40 females and 20 males. Once the birds were captured, they were tested for all sorts of diseases and some of the female birds were artificially inseminated, which had never been done in North America radio collars were then placed on the birds. We want to know exactly where they go and we have a subsample of those birds that have GPS radios where we, I can go on my computer and see where they are at any time of the day. We also have a, a, a sample of birds that have uh, what we call VHF radios and that's where we actually have to go out with radio telemetry and track the birds manually. The birds were airlifted from central Wyoming to Bowman, North Dakota, where biologists picked them up and took them to the release site. We want to have what's called a soft release, which the birds will walk out onto an active lek with displaying males. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of male sage grouse displaying in the southwest, so we had silhouettes put up. We also had um, uh, playback calls of, of lek sounds. For the next few months, a graduate student will be monitoring every movement to see where they go. This Tom Jensen, Outdoors.